Baptist just taking her easy, huh? <laughs> Out there in the rain. Hey, little chicken nuggy. Hey friends and neighbors, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you are watching this, that is absolutely fantastic because this is the very first video of my very first playthrough. And I would just like to say thank you so, so much for showing up. Um, we're going to have a great time, I hope. I'm going to try to have a great time, so I hope you guys have a great time too. So I would just like to say welcome to Wisconsin's. And welcome to Henford on Bagley. As you can see, that is where we are right now in the world of The Sims 4. And I have one lot placed, and this is the lot that we are going to be playing. So let's go ahead and jump right in there. If you're wondering about my loading screen, this is CC. I will link all of my CC. Well, I have a lot of CC. So I will try to link as much of my CC as I can in the description. Um, and if it is not entirely listed in the description, I will have most of it linked onto my Tumblr, which I will also link. So this is a sim that we are going to be playing. And today is going to be sort of just like an introduction. We're going to get to know the sim we're going to get to know this farm and kind of what to expect from this playthrough this playthrough is what i am sort of um calling the sim do valley challenge and i did look all over the place i looked on reddit i looked on tumblr there are lots of different stardew valley or sim do valley challenges out there but this one is going to be kind of uniquely mine so my challenge is this. I have one sim who has inherited sort of a ramshackle farm from, let's just say, a deceased grandfather because that's what happened in Stardew Valley. If you're a fan of Stardew Valley, I mean, get in the comments and let me know. That game is fantastic. Um, anyway, so we have a little farm that is in disrepair you can see it, there's a lot of brush and things that need to be cleared there's some broken down farm equipment there's just piles of like bits and pieces and overgrown grass it's it's not great there's a lot of uh cobwebs in the house there's peeling wallpaper there's water stains in the bathroom, on um, you know, the masonry, the the floor is junk, the furniture is pretty much all junk. And this is the plan. We're gonna restore this place, but with a couple of caveats. We can only decorate the house and furnish the house with what we can craft ourselves or scavenge and when i say scavenge i basically mean dumpster dive so we're going to be dumpster diving and we're going to be crafting in the backyard we have a workbench we have a candle making station we have a juice fizzing station we have a dumpster we have a recycler i eventually when we have enough money um want to purchase a fabricator so we can get to even more crafting but for now the furniture the, the furniture is very sparse and it is in you know pretty bad shape now this sim for now oh my goodness it's storming out and this is the worst thing that's ever happened in her life clearly this sim is a little unique in her traits. <laughs> I've never ever in my life given the sim 
any Sam the Freegan trait. This is the first time because I thought it would make sense. I thought it would make sense for this story. Since we're going to have to scavenge a lot, I thought that the Freegan trait would be extraordinarily helpful. So we're rejecting consumerism. We're going to reduce wasteful spending by any means necessary. The Sim is going to enjoy finding reused and thrown away goods and foods. In fact, they have the best luck at finding the highest quality treasures and dumpsters. So that is going to be really, really helpful. And it's going to be super simoleon saving. Um, and the other thing I really like about this is they become tense if they don't spend enough time scavenging in dumpsters. Whereas most Sims, if they spend too much time scavenging in dumpsters, they get that little moodlet at the bottom where it's like a little bird with that plastic ring from like soda cans, like all tangled up. It's very sad. So I hope that the Sim doesn't get that moodlet. And another thing I want to talk about besides just um, the traits of the Sim is like, let's give her a little backstory. So we know that she inherited this place. Um, but where did she come from before that? What What's her deal, right? I mean, she looks like she's kind of put together and edgy and, you know, she's kind of cool. So what did she do before she came here? Did, did she reject the city life? I mean, that's sort of the Stardew Valley trope that she, she rejected her boring life as an office worker and, you know, decided to come and start a farm and, you know, it was everything, you know, just a whole big life change. And... Is that what the Sim did? What did she, what was her job? What do you think, guys? Tell me. Let me know. Get in the comments. What did she do before she came here? Maybe as the story progresses a little bit farther, we'll figure that out. Figure out more about her. Now, she has got, um, let's see. What do we have to work with here? The house. Okay, the house. The lot. I need to tell you about the lot. The lot itself has traits that are going to be helpful in our little plan here. It is also a tiny home, so that means we are going to be building skills faster, which is like fantastic. So I, I love that. I love that about this place. Tiny homes. I have a really hard time building tiny homes. I usually build monstrosities. But to e make this even more difficult, the lot challenges. We are off the grid and we are simple living, okay? The, uh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be great. So we have to make our own electricity, we have to get our own water, um, we can only eat what we have to cook with, and I also added the reduce, reuse, and recycle lot challenge. Um, that will help for collecting bits and pieces for the recycler, and it's also gonna help for, you know, having more garbage to sh sift through. So the main lot traits are great soil, which we're gonna need. We need that for gardening. And it's homey, so that's gonna help with the cooking mixology, handiness in gardening, and we have a natural well, because if you live in the country, you have a well. That is just a fact of life. I live out in the country. I've lived out in the country my entire life, right in the middle of Wisconsin. And it, if you live out in the country, you have a well. There's no paying for city water out in the country. Okay. So we have basically just enough money to buy some seeds and buy some farm animals. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here and purchase some chickens because we're gonna need those eggs. So I wanna get one chick and one adult hen. So let's just go with a white hen and a hen chick. We'll see what that little hen chick grows up to be. Will they be a good hen? I hope they won't be evil. We're gonna buy a cow. And of course, we're going to buy a spotted cow, which if you don't know, these black and white spotted cows are called Yay! They're called Holsteins. 
Holsteins are basically what we have here in Wisconsin. You see the big farms with big red barns and all that fun stuff? Yeah, those are Holstein cows. And the next thing we need to do is purchase some seeds. Now, I'm thinking I want to probably hold off as much as I can on buying seeds. I want to see what I can forage first. Let's see if there's anything around here. And as you can see, the, the lot that I picked is the secret cottage. Hey, there's some stuff down here. It's kind of a bummer because there's a thunderstorm going on, so she's not going to be, like, super happy about running around outside right now. I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to go into town. Also, nothing has grown yet. The wild nightly mushrooms don't grow until nighttime. Um, and I don't see a whole lot of other things happening around here as far as plant life that we can pick. We might have to wait until tomorrow since I literally started a new game like on the day that we are on. Things probably haven't had enough time to spawn yet. I am kind of curious to see what I want to dig. I want to dig, see what we can find. What can we find? Let's see what we can see. She's going to hate it because there's thunder and lightning and... Oh boy, she is angry from having a... How did she even talk on the phone? We're off the grid, dude. Huh. Okay, well. That's a problem for a different day, I guess. So, off we go. Yep, yeah, just running with the phone in the rain. Because that makes total sense. Everybody always has their phone out when it's raining. Because, you know, we love it when our phones get wet. So what treasure awaits? A minnow. Great. It's foul. That's cool. So we've got a foul minnow. We're going to use that probably to fertilize crops later on. And she is scared as shit. So let's <laughs> dig one more thing and probably head into town. Um, where, where was it? Oh, here it is. Dig. Dig, girl. Dig. Dig. Then we'll go to town. We'll go to the market and see what's up there. Because I want to buy some large crop seeds. I know you can do that just by clicking on the soil, but I mean, come on. It's an excuse to go into town. We'll meet some new people. Maybe it's not storming in the middle of town. So we're on our way. I think she might need a makeover. I'm not sure. That'll probably come later. We'll see. We'll see what farm life does to her. If it completely beats her down and she needs a makeover. Maybe change into some... <laughs> that guy's freaking out. We'll see if she needs some more farm appropriate clothing because I'm going to tell you right now. If you live on a farm, if you actually actively farm or garden or take care of animals in any way, shape, or farm, you get dirty. Lily? Hey! What's going on, man? Just having a picnic right out here, huh? A time capsule! Hooray! Let's open that up. Love the time capsule. Oh boy, two of them. We got... Tobor and Elmira Clamp. Great. Cool. So we have decorations already. We've barely even done anything. We have decorations. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to travel in town. The Gnome's Arms. How cute is that? I don't know about you guys, but I think that heading for it on Bagley is my absolute favorite. Oh no, it's still storming here. It's my absolute favorite pack so far in The Sims. Oh, I forgot to talk about this. Our aspirations, country caretaker. So we purchased a cow and a chicken. We don't have enough space for anything else yet. We don't have space for a llama. Um, we have to socialize with foxes, rabbits, and birds. Um, purchase a garden patch. We've got a bunch of those. Visit Finch, visit Finchwick, Old New Henford, and the Bramblewood neighborhoods in Henford on Bagley. So, okay, we're like halfway there already. And let's go to, 
We've got the grocery. I know that we need to purchase things like flour and sugar. Um, we also need to purchase seeds. So first thing I'm going to do is <laughs> ask for a discount. I wonder. I mean, we, we, ha we have no skills. We have no charisma. Haggling is not going to happen. So we'll see what we can do. Probably being miserable isn't going to help anything at all. But I guess we'll see, right? Okay, so... I'm thinking that didn't work. We're going to try to insist on a discount. Please, I'm so broke. I need... I need a discount really but no wow she absolutely hates me. Well let's try haggling. It's our last resort. Holy shit, actually. Ha <laughs> ha And we acquired the charisma skill. I cannot believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I am truly amazed. Oh boy. So terrified. I am gonna have to, you know, once she gets some actual points, buy her the storm chaser trait. So, what are we gonna buy? We're gonna buy. We're gonna buy some. Let's see. Like, everything went up. I'll give you 25% off anything on this table. The prices of everything went up. I didn't get a 25% decrease on anything. What? Are you kidding me? Everything went up. What kind of ridiculousness is this? I don't understand. It went from $20 to $22. No, no, I'm I'm sorry. That's that's just why is this happening to me? This is gonna be such a waste of money. Well, anyway, let's buy watermelon. No, I can't. I can't do this. I'm just going to buy it at home because clearly this isn't working. We're going to go back over here and we're going to see what happens. We're going to try to ask for a discount again and see if maybe it'll actually work this time. Actually? Yay! Discount. The discount worked this time. Kinda. Did it? I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Okay. So we don't need to buy milk. We're gonna have milk. So we can make cheese. We're gonna have eggs. We just need to buy uh, flour because um, if we want to make bread, we need flour. And you pretty much need bread for like... I'm going to buy a potato because those are actually kind of... And I'm going to buy a pomegranate because those are great for juicing. Um, I am also going to buy some sugar. I'm also going to buy some meat. And that should be enough, I think, to tide us over. The pomegranate and the potato, I'm going to plant. Because those are kind of hard to find. Like, if you just buy seed packets, it's those are some of the things that are just really hard to end up with. You gotta be really lucky to get that. Okay. Cool. So, we're gonna... We're gonna introduce ourselves. We're gonna say hi. We're gonna say hi. Who are you? I'm new in town. How are you doing, though? I'm terrified, but, you know, are you alright? Where'd you go? Oh, cool. Here's some more folks to say hi to. 
Rami Watson. So so friendly introduction. Look, everybody is so sad. Everybody is like, it's raining. It sucks. I need to get out. Oh wow, she does not like someone. Was that the mayor? Or was that the garden lady? It's the garden lady. She doesn't like the garden lady. Oof. Sorry. So, we're gonna absolutely complain about this rain. And we're going to ask her about her career. We're gonna ask her we're gonna, we're gonna offer to help there. Yeah. Oof, she's sick. I'm gonna get sick. I just know it. Simple regret. What do we got here? Have you ever had one of those days where you've just got too much to do and not enough time to do it? Yep. I need some ingredients for our next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have any spare time. Would you be able to help me out? So we needed an assortment of green fertilizer, and if you're lucky, a freshly prepared meal. Okay. And then we have, um, it's lovely to see a new face around these parts, but I'm just too busy right now to make a proper introduction of myself. If you have the time and mind to be a help, would you be a deer and grab some of these grocery orders? Oh. And I've forgotten to eat again. Not to mention that bouquet I was going to make for my friend. Reward an assortment of eggs, milk, flour, cheese, sugar, and animal treat. Creature comforts. I'm not sure if you've got any creatures of your own, but I've been looking to get my hands on some fresh ingredients. Could you bring some to me and save me a bit of time? I, yeah, I do actually. I have got some creatures of my own. Cool. So we're, we're going to help. We're gonna help out. We're gonna help out. We're gonna make some simoleons. We're gonna get some rewards. And make a new friend. So what do we got? Perfectly cooked beef wellington is making <laughs> Are you skills enough to prepare this color? No, I'm not. But I'll practice. I will practice until I've mastered the skill of beef wellington. I hope Gordon Ramsay doesn't kill me. What else do we need to do? Collect a few grocery orders. So just write down what Sims want and then let me know. And if you don't mind, I'm feeling a bit peckish and could use a bit to eat, bite to eat. Could you bring me any single serving of food of your choice? Surprise me. Oh, and here, let me give you a rose to take to the lovely creature keeper who stays in Bramble. What? I'm a bit nervous to deliver it myself. Someone's got a crush. Would you mind bringing it to them and telling me how it went? Yep, sure. While llama wool is a staple around these parts, I can never have enough to keep the shop shelf stocked. Would you say you saved me the hassle of- I don't have a llama. That's the animal I don't have. Well, shit. Okay, well, let me see here. We need to get groceries- Collect four grocery orders from whom? Whom are we collecting grocery orders from? Do you have a grocery order? Do you? I Let's see here. Grocery or collect grocery order. Right on. There's one. What are you? A raspberry. Oh, I need raspberries. Oh, I'm low on eggs. Put me down. Okay. So that's one grocery order. So we're going to go friendly introduction with her. And I know she hates absolutely everything in the world. But we're going to do our best. She's she's just a... You know, she's just an old elder sim who's just had it rough in her life. I mean... She's got quite the backstory to her. If you haven't, check out Whiny Brit. She does all of these great lore videos and she can tell you all about Agnes Crumplebottom and the whole Crumplebottom family and legacy. And it's great because I haven't played any of the other Sims games at all. Um, and so 
she's 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 like fantastic. She's a fantastic YouTuber and she's a fantastic resource for um, you know, letting you know what's up with some of these fantastic characters in this game. Ian Moody. Hey guy. We're gonna go talk to you and we're gonna see if you have anything for us. I have to stop talking to those people. We need to get out of the rain. Everybody's running around like, ah, oh no, what happened? No, don't run away. I need to talk to you. All these people are yelling at each other. <laughs> Moira, what's up? Do you need groceries? Okay, he needs eggs too. So, friendly, friendly. We're gonna see if she needs a grocery order. Ah, <laughs> so Yay. You know what I hate? I hate not having the rewards <laughs> traits of perceptive because when I introduce myself to Sims, I want to know every single thing about them immediately. And so when I don't have that trait, it makes me so sad. Um, do you need a grocery order? Yeah, you do. Okay. So I, I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to afford that. Cool. So we now have, um, wait. Yes, we have four. Cool. Let's go home. Let's quickly go home. Here we are back home. We oh, super need to go to the bathroom. Oh, we're going to take a panicked poo. Okay, right on. Please just hurry. We, uh, oh, hey. This off-the-grid household is generating a power surplus. Objects that use power will now fully work as long as more power is being generated than is being used. I love it. So we need to manage our bills. So we're not auto-selling, we're storing. If you choose to do the off-the-grid thing, you have to do this. You have to store what you are getting. Otherwise, um, yeah. If this whole meter builds up, like if this gets to be like completely in the green, you can sell then. But in the meantime, you want to conserve what you're generating to cover your utilities. Okay, so that's taken care of. Next thing we need to do is buy some seeds. We should also probably well we don't need we don't need to feed. We should feed these guys. So our poor janky little bathroom. It's just it's uh you know, it's sad. This is like probably the same old dirty towels that were left here by old grandpa Sim before he passed away. Oh, <laughs> and so she is gonna go ahead and scatter some feed around for those poor chickens that are probably starving to death. And I found CC for um, retextured uh, chicken coops, and I think that I absolutely am going to have to install that because it is. Like, you know, I might actually already have it installed. Um, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, so we're going to buy some seeds. We're going to purchase some seeds because obviously the whole situation with the um, stand in town was bogus. We're not um, going to deal with that again. Um, I do want to buy some garden flowers because I do have a, a bouquet. Okay, arranging table and I would like to utilize that that might be another cool way to make money and I do want to buy some oversized crop seed see you know this is this is this is, okay pumpkins um watermelons I guess 
And then I want to get some regular seeds. Oh, I want to use fertilizers. Um, my god, we're so almost out of money. Um, and purchase seeds. I just don't have a whole lot of money, but we're going to do the best we can. And um, I guess buy one pack of garbage, garbage garlic seeds and that's going to leave us at 79 entire simoleons. So... I, jeepers. We're gonna plant this somewhere, I guess. Where can I plant you? We'll plant you right there. Um, go ahead, plant. We'll plant you over here. We're gonna open. 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 Doing laundry by hand is gonna be fan fucking tastic. <laughs> it's just I can't wait. Yeah, she does like gardening. That's actually tremendous that she likes gardening. <laughs> and so we're gonna open, 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 open. Keep doing this. And now. Open, open, open. Oh, I gotta get my stuff in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Get it in the refrigerator before it goes bad. The meat mainly is what I'm concerned about. Okay. Ooh. I'm not gonna plant those. I'm not gonna plant those. So this can go right in the refrigerator. And... I don't think I need anything else. So then we're going to go ahead and start just planting what we have. The rest of it can go in the refrigerator. Grapes go in the refrigerator. Green beans. Carrots got to go in the ground. Garlic's got to go in the ground. I love these vertical planters, by the way. This is like the greatest thing to come out of the eco living. I just, I cannot get enough of the vertical planters. I use them in every single build. I absolutely adore the fact that they don't take up all of the space in the world. Whoops. And these, you know, even the, the planter boxes, they just, they take up so much. But these, on the other hand, do not take up all the space in the world. And we got apple tree. We'll plant this apple tree. Where are you going to go? You can go right there. Plant. Put you away. Put you away. Plant. And. Plant. And. We're gonna plant watermelons and we're gonna plant pumpkins and hopefully what do we got coming up do we have a fair coming up anytime soon oh all of this high school stuff <gasps> the chicken fair hey on sunday it's the chicken fair we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna have so much fun at the chicken fair. This is the garden fair. Ooh, we have to get good at cooking before then so we can make some great pies. The cow fair, yes, please. Okay. Um, football. I I don't care. I don't care about any of this stuff right now. Um. Right then. So, aren't these little mushroom chairs just the cutest thing that you've ever seen in your life? I love them. 
I don't ever use them as like seating, but I just mm. love them as decoration. How's my cow? How are my chickens? Are you sleeping out in the rain? You little... Oh. Hey. What's going on? You're just... Just, just taking her easy, huh? <laughs> out there in the rain. Hey, little chicken nuggy. You're just a little chicken nuggy. I love you, chicken nuggy. Okay. It's getting late. All the creatures are going to be going to bed. I hate that. When the weather is bad, the animals stay inside and then you just can't, you can't interact with them because they want to be inside most of the time and then the next day they're like filthy and they're sad because they haven't gotten any social and it's just, you know, I gotta get these bees. Oh boy. I love keeping bees. We're gonna bond. Bond with bees. Okay, garden faster. And we are hungry. Cool. Well, I do have enough fruit. I have those plantains in the refrigerator. I should at least be able to make a fruit salad, so that'll be good. And, oh no, the bees are freaking out. Bees are freaking the fuck out. Okay. I get our relationship up with them now a little bit. Even though they tried to murder us. So we're gonna cook a fruit salad. I guess, you know, we're just gonna do that. We're gonna make a regular old... Oh, the spiders. The spiders! Oh. Hey, spider guy. Wish you could make friends with them. Make friends with all of your house spiders. That'd be super cool. Eventually, when we progress a little farther into the story... Oh, she is just having the worst... The worst day. She's like, you know... I'm starting to regret... Really starting to regret the fact that I left my house in the city to come out here and do this bullshit. I am wet. I am hungry. This place is trash. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. But you know what, girl? You're going to be fine. I'm going to get those skills up. going to start making some friends. Everything will just be... Everything will be everything. So she's going to eat. And I think that... We're going to leave it here for now. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you come back to keep watching because like I said, I think that we're going to have a great time with this. So like I said, let me know in the comments, what did she do before she came here? What was her whole deal before coming to be a farm girl? And um, we'll kind of keep working on her story together. All right. Well, all right, everybody. Until next time, have a beautiful day. And, you know, make sure you drive safe. All right. Bye.